here again YouTube. This is going to be another review on the HP Pavilion DV3 laptop and entertainment PC I should say. And um well where should I start? Well one thing is if you guys are wondering why I'm not using the trackpad and using wireless mouse is because I sorta of broke my trackpad. And uh well let me explain about my background first since I'm not really sure where to start. Um yeah it says bear 50 cal sniper and then uh a kid picked it up and then says, "Oh shit, Jimmy put the gun down." But uh, okay, let's, let's start off with the start program and what I'm running. Today I'm going to be running Windows Vista 64-bit. And uh, how about we try to open up the internet and test some speeds? So if you guys know how fast Google Chrome runs, then uh, you know, you'll be familiar with. It. And by the way, this has a 2.1 this so Google Chrome gigahertz processor with four gigabytes of RAM. I'd like to say that, so I'm pretty sure, yes, so, so let's just go to start panel, check that out. Control panel. Um, now it's going to be under, hmm, where's it at? System and maintenance, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah. Let's make this full screen. So it says Windows Vista, Home Premium, Copyright 2007, yeah, Service Pack 2. Uh, I got a 3.8 rating, Intel Core 2 Duo. It's 2 gigahertz with uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM. 64-bit operating system, as I said before, and um, it's an HP, if you know. And so that's how fast I opened up my internet. Now let's uh, try to open up YouTube. And that was a uh, fairly fast, I think, for a. Let's see, if I have a four-bar connection, let's close that. Um, how about we try doing another thing? I have a. Fairly large software that I like to run on here. It's called uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro 16. Oh, let's go ahead and open that. See how long that takes. It's about five gigabytes of software. It, it, it's a it's a fairly large thing. It's meant for editing videos and doing whatnot. So let's open this up. See how long it takes. And if you guys are wondering, I have the Brightview Infinity Display on my laptop instead of the just the uh, default one. And, uh, well, I'm not quite sure. It should be loading by now. While it's doing that, I'm going to look up the, um, I'm going to show you the webcam, which I have built in here. Let's just type in, uh, Media Smart Webcam. It should be on here somewhere. Yes, there it is. And most of the software on here to run, like, your pictures and stuff is made by HP. Like, if you're going to use the Media Smart, which I prefer. And, um, well, I, let's just close here the... Uh, movie software and uh, I'm not quite sure it looks like it might have froze or something so I'll just let it do what it needs to do um, let's show you another thing with uh, ah look at it there, there, started up in the back so you can see that was a fairly large time I'm gonna close that and uh, let's see another thing let's go to HP media smart where you can choose from DVD music Pictures, TV, and movies. So let's click on pictures. As you can see, it's loading. And let's take another look at the keyboard. Since I have, um, since you can tell, I have the whites here. It has a nice design down here. It's all etched in. It's not a sticker. And I happen to have the fingerprint reader on my HP Pavilion. I have a, so I log on with my fingerprint instead of, you know, uh, typing in a password. Okay, and my camera will focus in here. Got photos? Go ahead and click on this one. And, uh, yeah, you can see some pictures here. On that one. Let's see what this is. Uh, that's just a, a picture of my phone almost, yeah. My phone, and then uh, there's a nice webcam, webcam thing you can look at. The quality you can draw on a webcam, and um, it has different effects. You can see, and uh, that was taken my webcam too. And then uh, so this is the HP Media Smart Photo. Put your battery, your uh, connection speed. Over here, you can uh, it shows you the camera it was with, the date it was captured, the file name, 
rotate it, crop it, auto enhance, fix red eye, tags, photos. Let's go ahead and go to return here and let's just close it. Um, another thing that's very nice about this laptop is it's, um, as I was saying before, the fingerprint reader. Let me go ahead and log out here and you can see. You can see me using that. And sometimes it may take me a couple tries, but that's just me, not the computer itself. At least I hope it's the, not the computer itself. <laughs> okay, oh whoops, wrong one. Swipe fingerprint to log on. Click on that. Just gonna keep on sliding it down here. Should I be sure I get my finger in the right spot? So you just walk, watch up there. If I, if I, oh man, it's been so long since I logged on like this. See, I usually leave my computer logged on. I keep forgetting which finger I use. So let's try a different one. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, something's wrong there, so I'm just gonna log on like that. I, I, I seem to have forgotten which finger to use for uh, my logging on because it uses various fingers on the hand and then, you know, to read your fingerprint and everything. But yeah, that, that's the user error. And um, another thing I'd like to show you on here is uh, it's got touch sensitive buttons. Alright, just touch it. It goes mute. Or change my volume. Like this, I'll just let my computer load up here. Close all this extra stuff I don't need on. And um, since I've had this computer for about a year, I have extra stuff on here that you really don't need to have. So my computer's all slow, and I know it's like loading a whole bunch of stuff. But, um, okay, now let's see if this will work. See, you can see me using the touch panel. And it's moving up there. And I'll use it for your Wi-Fi. See, disabled and then enabled. And um, let's go ahead and close the laptop. So on top I have a lit up HP light. And on the front design it's got a pretty beautiful etched in glass. Well, not glass, but I mean design that you can see. It's sort of like a wave almost. And by the way, this is a 13.3 inch laptop. Let's go ahead and unplug my mice and power cord. And if you turn it to look at the side, you're going to have two USB ports on the left side with your uh, charger outlet. You're going to have your, of course, your DVD drive, which I have LightScribe on mine. Then if you're looking at the front of the laptop, it's pretty basic. you got your headphone and microphone jack. Then you're just going to have, uh, of course, the power button, you know, the charging, your uh, optical drive. Turn the laptop to the right side. On the right side, i got a little remote to go with mine. I'm just going to slide out there. It's the HP Media Smart Remote. So um, I'm pretty sure $25 extra. And uh, you can use that to control your volume, change music, songs, whatever. It's got an SD card slot down here, which supports MS Pro, SD, and uh, it's it's an 8 in 1, I know that. And you're going to have your eSATA drive. On the other side, and you're gonna, I uh, got myself a nice HDMI cable put in there. I mean, port. Because I like uh, seeing things in HD, like monitors and stuff. And of course, you're going to have your Ethernet, your VGA. And your cooling system with the Kingston lock. Uh, and just so you know, any lock made by Kingston will work on this computer and um, fit in that slot. So let me slide this back right in here. And when you open up the computer, you can see I got the um, premium sound on it. So these are all speakers all the way along. And um, well, that's pretty much my review on the. HB Pavilion Entertainment. Let's see if it's focus in for me. Yeah, but Entertainment PC. Alright, guys. Peace out.